Welcome back to Big Save Ave. Today we're going to be previewing the Stanley Cup Final. Facing off is the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Montreal Canadiens. Now the Montreal Canadiens, they're, they're a big surprise. No one yeah. expected them to get this far. Right, last team in the playoffs playing the Maple Leafs. You were big cup favorites for, for some reason. <laughs> for some <laughs> reason, yes. The Leafs fell in the first round like they always do. And then... The Canadians managed to sweep the Jets, and now they're here after beating the Golden Knights. Yeah, errant pass by Galchenyuk in overtime of Game 5, and they, they just keep winning since. Um, they've been very impressive. Carey Price has looked very, very good. Um, shows why he's considered one of the best goalies in the league. And with guys like Suzuki, Caulfield, and um, Tyler Toffoli, they've been really good. And you can see why they were able to make it to the cup final. Yeah, Caulfield has been looking really well since he was no longer a healthy scratch for them. Yeah, making the jump to the NHL, he's looked very good. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's the juggernaut. It's the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah. They look phenomenal. Braden Point, Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stamkos, Victor yeah. Hedman. You look anywhere on this roster, you're going to find a star. This team has been unbeatable. The Islanders forced it to seven, but at the same time, they also lost eight nothing. Yeah, they they were outplayed that entire series. They got them in game six, but for the most part, Tampa showed that they could beat them. They took down the division winner Carolina Hurricanes in five games, um, and they took out Florida in six with Jonathan Huberto putting up an incredible performance. Um, so this team is spectacular. It's going to be really tough to beat them. How much you has been looking pretty good lately? Is there any chance at all they beat the Lightning? In the Stanley Cup final journey, I know. I do not see the Montreal Canadiens taking down the Stanley Bay Lightning team. They're just too good. Um, I mean, Vasilevsky has been outstanding. People are talking about how good Carey Price has been. If you look at the statistics, Carey Price has a worse save percentage a worse goals against average, and three less shutouts. I mean, I think Vasilevsky is the most underappreciated player in the NHL right now. He's been better than Carey Price in these playoffs, and people are talking about giving Carey Price the con Smythe already because he's been spectacular too. I just think that Vasilevsky can be as good and better than Carey Price so I would be very worried if I were the Canadians. Yeah, I, th I think people just see that Carey Price is doing better than he normally does now, while Vasilevsky has not consistently taken had and these numbers. He's just been consistent that it's not. It's not a surprise yeah, when you see a him surprise. posting a 1.99 GAA and a 9.35 save percentage, which are some spectacular numbers. No. What are your predictions for the finals? I have Tampa Bay in four. Montreal squeaks out the game two in overtime, but overall Tampa dominates to go back to back. And I expect to see them get the three-peat. I have the Lightning in six. I think Carey Price might be able to steal a couple of games, maybe the help from Cole Caulfield, but I don't see them beating the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think they've just been too good this season, especially in the playoffs. Yeah, I just don't see any team beating them. So a crazy stat. If Alex Kalorn, who I would say is probably maybe the fifth, sixth best player on Tampa, um, if he was on the Canadians and kept his point totals, he would not only be leading the Montreal Canadiens in points, he would also be leading them in goals. That just shows how good this Tampa Bay Lightning depth is. Yeah, they have nothing but depth. They're... You oh, look at their superstars, they've got superstars, they've got depth. depth. They've, they've got, got a goalie. spectacular defense and a great goalie, if not the best goalie in the league. He'll probably win the Vesna. Even if you look at the fourth line on Tampa, they have Tyler Johnson, Pat Maroon, and Ross Colton. They've been spectacular. I mean, this team's depth is undeniable. I'm. You look at Montreal, they might be the only team that has equal depth. The problem with Montreal is they don't have that superstar talent to put yeah. them over the edge. They've got a great third and fourth line. Their top four defense might be the best top four in the league. That bottom two 
Um, it's definitely very suspect. Eric Gustafson is not a defense you want on a Stanley Cup team. Um, yeah, Flyers tried it. Yeah, Flyers it tried it. It did out. not work out yeah. for them. The fact that he was worth a seventh round pick, if that, um, shows how he's not that great. But I'm definitely worried if I was a Montreal fan. I think Tampa has him. Yeah. I will say, I think this will be a very entertaining finals. First time in 10 years since a Canadian team has made the finals. And the first time since 1993 since a team, a Canadian team won the cup. And that team was the Canadians. So maybe they have something going for them, but I still don't think so. Yeah, either we'll see a back-to-back -back or the first cup in Canada since 1993. Either way, it's going to be a crazy outcome. I still have the Bolts in five. It's going to be a great series, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Matthew. And I'm Avery. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.